Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to go right to Reuters here. Um, this is happening today now. This is an article from yesterday, but this is happening today, April 26th, 2017. The entire U.S. Senate to go to the White House for North Korea briefing, and this is highly unusual. I'll read you some of this, so sit back, drink some coffee, green tea, whatever it is that you do. Smoke a cigarette if you smoke. I wouldn't recommend that, but if you do that, do that. Um, eat some toast. But anyway, top Trump administration officials will hold a rare briefing on Wednesday at the White House for the entire U.S. Senate on the situation in North Korea. All 100 senators have been asked to the White House for the briefing by Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, Secretary of Defense Jim Mad Dog Mattis, Director of National Intelligence Dan Coats, and General Joseph Dunford, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. And this is from White House spokesman Sean Spicer. Okay, we can skip through that. Now, while administration officials routine, routinely travel to Capitol Hill, to address members of Congress on foreign policy matters, it is unusual for the entire Senate to go to the White House and for all four of those officials to be involved. Now, Wednesday's briefing was originally scheduled for a secure room at the Capitol, but President Donald Trump suggested a shift to the White House, congressional aides have said. Now, again, Washington has expressed mounting concern over North Korea's nuclear and missile tests and its threats to attack the United States and its Asian allies. So while you have this unusual meeting going on today I, at the White House, we also have um, in New York City with Gotham Shield, they're actually simulating a nuclear explosion today in New York City and how to best respond to that. And we also have a significant drill in Washington, D.C. at the same time this meeting is going on. Again, a drill that will be similar to what is taking place in New York. Now, you can draw your own conclusions. I certainly have ideas that we've seen a history of false flaggery in the United States of America where these drills are concerned. Not to say that there will be a nuclear explosion. I mean, you'd better hope that there won't be. But again, some unusual situations taking place on this Wednesday. As we have uh, the USS Carl Vinson, evidently it is right up near North Korea right now. From what I have seen, you know, there's been some mystery as to where that carrier group actually is in proximity to the Korean Peninsula. But between uh, Gotham Shield, and uh, this other drill going on in D.C. today, which is something similar. And this meeting taking place with the entire Senate. These are things that make you go, hmm. So I would just, as always, encourage vigilance. Be watchful. Be aware, perhaps, of some manner of tomfoolery. And we will see what tomorrow, Thursday, brings. Anyway, I'll leave you a link to this if you want to read the whole thing. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button. And if you feel so led, check out the links to my fiction books and to my music. My fiction books are, are again, they're... I would call them edgy Christian fiction. And my stories... If you are a watcher of the world and world events, my stories would probably be very appealing to you. This is Jim saying God bless you, and I will see you soon.